Logan Driving Test Center. Is it easy? Is it challenging? I've had a lot of people asking me to drive around Logan Test Area and do a video around there. So we just decided to do that today and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you are doing your driving test at Logan or even if you're not doing your driving test at Logan you can still benefit from this video if you're doing your driving test at Logan I'm definitely not saying this is the only test route that your driving examiner is going to take your examiners definitely they have a lot of other test routes that they can go to so make sure that you drive around the area that you're gonna be doing your test so that you are familiar with the area. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos. You can also check us out on Instagram. You can also check us out on Instagram Signal Driving School, Australia. Let's get started and see how we go. So when you come to the driving test center, you want to make sure that you arrive at least 20 minutes before the driving test. And you need to park your car in the driving test designated area. So they are parking which are reserved for driving tests. So park your vehicle there. And it's actually always recommended to reverse your vehicle into the car park instead of parking it forward facing. And then from there, once you park your car, you need to go inside the office to let the examiner know that you've arrived. So for this driving test center, there are two sites. So there is site one and then site two. So you need to check your booking confirmation to check whether you've booked your driving test at site one or whether you've booked your driving test at site two. And then from there, you're gonna come back and your driving examiner will also come to the car. They will be standing outside and then they're gonna ask you to put your car in pre-ignition. So what that means, it means that if you're using a car with key, so you need to put your key inside and turn the key twice until the dashboard light comes on. And once the dashboard light comes on, then the examiner will be standing outside. They're gonna ask you to indicate left, and then they're gonna ask you to indicate right, and also they ask you to press the brake, and then they ask you to beep the horn. And from there, the driving examiner, once they see that the car is roadworthy, they will come inside the car. And at that point, obviously, you need to make sure you, you've closed your door, so make sure your door is nice and closed. Make sure you've got your seat belt on because you don't want to fail your driving test because of the seat belt. And at that point also make sure that you start the car because I've seen people who don't start the car and then they try and, and go and then the car is not moving uh, and they wonder why is the car not moving. So it's important that you, you start your vehicle. And then the examiner is going to ask you maybe like, two questions about the car that you are using. So this can be maybe like turn on your windscreen wipers or maybe do the washers, which is the water. So you need to learn how to do those things. And if you don't know how to do them, probably make sure that you ask your instructor to show you how to do them. There is also another video that I've done in the past where I talk about most of the things that they ask you about the car in that video. So you can check it out. I'm gonna put a link to it somewhere in one of the top corners. And then from there, your driving examiner is gonna tell you that when you're ready, you can move off. So at that point, obviously, if you've reversed your vehicle inside, that's good. But for me, I've parked my car forward facing. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put my car in reverse. I'm gonna put the handbrake down. Um, I'm driving automatic car. So if you're doing your test in a manual, obviously you need to know how to drive a manual car. So you do, you, you operate your gears the way they should be operated. Um, so from here, I'm gonna reverse my car outside. Obviously checking around, make sure it's safe to go. Um, so the parkings here, they are located, I'm just gonna drive out. 
and I'm gonna point to where the parkings are. So the parkings are on my right here. And when you're going out for your test, you're gonna drive out this way. Um, so keeping the speed out of this car park as slow as possible. So there is also like pedestrian crossings here. So like this man is going to cross, so I need to give way to him. Um, so looking out for if there's any other pedestrians around. So keeping the speed as slow as possible. And then also there's a few speed bumps here that you need to go through. So uh, at the end here, your examiner will ask you to go left. So this is site one. But if you are in site two, you're gonna be coming from the other side, on the other side. Uh, looking for pedestrians who may be here, so no one is here. There's always cars parked here, so it's important that when you're going out, just make sure you go very slow. It's really hard to see there, because it's a parked vehicle. So it's safe to go, so I can turn. Um, here the examiner can ask you to go left or right, but I'm gonna go left. So there is a giveaway sign here. Um, also, there's a lot of cars coming from the right. So this road can get very busy. Okay, there's another vehicle coming. Probably I could have gone, but I've just decided not to go. Okay, so I can go. Uh, once I go here, the first thing I notice here is the speed limit of 60. So I need to make sure that I obey this speed limit. Okay, someone opening their doors. Now at these traffic lights, your examiner can either go right, they can also go left or they can go straight, but I'm going right. So when going right, I would recommend that probably using this middle lane is the best because probably your examiner might ask you to go left straight after. So we're gonna go right using the middle lane. Okay, so the light has changed to green. Um, so here looking in my mirrors as well. Now I have to be anticipating because that could change. So it's still green at the moment, still green. So I can go through, uh, making sure that I stay in my lane when I turn. So those two cars nearly collide, collided. Here I'm gonna take the left lane immediately. So checking my mirrors and I'm gonna cancel the signal because I wanna go left at the traffic lights. Once I pass this street, I'm gonna reapply the signal and then I'm gonna slow down the vehicle. So here there is a pedestrian crossing. I need to make sure that I don't go too fast. There are cars coming from that side, so I need to give way to them. Uh, very important. Okay, so waiting for a safe gap here. Okay, so it's safe to go, so I can go. Um, now, if you are in this lane here, you need to make sure that this lane is gonna turn left ahead. So it's important if your examiners tell you to go straight, you need to change to the right lane. But I wanna go left, so I'm gonna indicate, I'm gonna check my mirrors. I'm gonna slow down the vehicle, it's safe to go, so I can turn left. Um, here, once I turn left, I didn't see any speed limit, so I'm going to assume that the speed limit is 50. So 50 kilometers per hour, checking my mirrors every now and then. Um, so this is still 50. A lot of cars parked on the left here. So always look out. Now, 
here there is, this is probably one of the challenging thing about logging. There is a lot of pedestrian crossing in this, in this area here. I'm going to go left, so no pedestrian is wanting to cross, but there is also a stop sign. So I need to stop completely for about the recommended time. Once I stop, I can go. Um, and at the end of the street, I'm gonna be going left. So there was a pedestrian there, that's why I did slow down a little bit. Even here, there is another pedestrian crossing, so I need to be a little bit careful here. Okay, I'm going to be going right, so I'm going to have to make sure I look out for any pedestrians. Once there is no pedestrian, I can move on top of the crossing, and I need to check again. It's safe to go, not anymore. So I'm going to stop and wait. So this is a little bit tricky. And looking for anybody who may be turning. Okay, so there's a person turning right. Okay. Okay, so it's safe to turn because those guys are waiting for for pedestrians to cross so I can turn. Now here again, keeping the speed as slow as possible, always look out for pedestrians, especially if you are doing your test in the afternoon. There's also another pedestrian crossing here. I don't know if that person wants to cross, so I'm gonna take it easy. Looks like she is not wanting to cross, so I can continue. So here keeping it slow, And then there is a roundabout here. So this roundabout, I'm gonna be going straight. Okay, so I'm gonna watch the right-hand side. Make sure it's safe to continue. Once it's safe to continue, I can continue. I'm gonna indicate left on my way out. And cancel the signal. So, and then here we can keep moving. Can go a little bit faster now. Now, another thing that is a little bit complicated here is this railway crossing. So I'm going to be going left. Now, what happens here, you need to be careful because this turn here, if there is another person waiting on the other side of the crossing, you need to wait behind the line. So I'm going left. Um, and here I need to check, make sure it's safe to go. Because I'm going to go left and that person is going right, I'm going to look both ways here through the railway crossing. and. We have to make sure that no one is coming here. And if there's no one coming, we can go. But if there was someone waiting, I would have needed to wait behind the crossing. So the speed here is going to turn into 50. So again here, not rushing anything. Even if you're doing 40 something, that's fine. So 50 kilometers per hour. But don't do too, don't go too slow as well below the speed limit because they can also, that could, can also be a problem. Okay, so here I'm gonna be going right. So I'm gonna check my mirrors. So I'm gonna indicate right. I'm gonna get into the right lane, and then I'm gonna make sure that I slow down the vehicle. Um, so here I need to look for oncoming traffic. It looks safe to turn, so I can turn. Uh, now once you turn here, the first thing you notice there is a sign of 40 kilometers per hour here. So we need to make sure that we don't exceed that speed limit. 40, so going downhill here, making sure we control the speed. There's a sign which says slow point. So which means that maybe we might need to slow down even more, making sure we don't hit the curb. Okay. So this is still 40. Any street, even if you go left, it's still going to be 40. Okay, so here, keeping the speed as slow as possible. Also here, there was that car coming, so we have to slow down a little bit. And then we need to move in the middle, making sure we're not too close to the car parked on the left and the right as well. And again here, keeping the speed slow. This is another slow point. 
So even though it says 40, but sometimes you might need even to go slower than 40. Okay, so what's going to happen here at the next street we are I'm going to be making a right turn. Um, so to turn right, checking my mirrors, I'm going to indicate right. I'm going to make sure no one is coming down from there, making sure that it's safe to turn, and then I can turn. So once I turn here, the first thing I notice, there is another sign which says 40, and then I'm going to overtake this car, so keeping it nice and slow. Once I overtake, check my mirror to come back to the left, and then I'm going to be going right, so checking my mirrors. Uh, this is a T intersection, so I need to give way to any cars coming, making sure it's safe to turn, so I can turn. There is a speed bump here, so making sure that I go 20. And again here, the speed is still 40. Once I pass that vehicle, I need to, to come back to the left. There is a bend here, so we need to make sure we're not going too fast. So again here, if you go too fast, you might end up hitting the curb or something. It's actually tight, I think. Um, once we turn there, so we can now increase our speed. And then this speed bump here, the speed this says 20, so I need to slow down to 20. Then once I climb it, can speed up again. So again, remembering that the speed here is still 40. Very important. Uh, at this intersection, I'm going to go right. So I'm going to check my mirrors. I'm going to put on a right indicator. And I need to position the vehicle correctly for a right turn. It's a little bit hard to see, but I think it's safe to go. So I can go. Once I turn, again, I need to remember the speed is still 40 here. Now here also it's a bit tricky. If there was a car coming from the other side, probably we might need to give way to them because only one car can go in through here. So there was no car coming, so I can proceed. Again here, remembering that the speed is 40. Very important. Even this one here, only one car can go through. So I need, there's no one coming, so I can continue. Go to the right a little bit. At this intersection, now there is a sign which says end 40, which means it's okay after this to do 50. Indicate right, there's a stop sign as well, so I need to make sure I fully stop. Once I fully stop, I'm gonna watch, making sure that it's safe to turn so I can go. Once I turn here, so remember it says end 40, so which means the speed now here is 50. And then there's a speed bump here, but also there's a the pedestrian crossing. So there's no one wanting to cross, so it's safe to proceed. So I can continue. And then looking ahead, there's another pedestrian crossing. Actually, this is during school time, so there will probably be a lot of kids crossing this one here, so I need to make sure that I'm careful. There's also a lot of cars wanting to turn, so. Okay, so I'm going to move forward a little bit. I think this guy is kind of like controlling everybody. Okay, so it's safe to go. But if that person is not there, I need to make sure that I give way to everybody. Because if the person is not there, I need to give way to pedestrian because of that pedestrian crossing. But if there is a person there with that lollipop sign, Whatever they say, that's what we're going to do. If they stand in the middle and tell us to stop, then that's when we stop. But if they are, if they are holding the pedestrians from crossing, we can actually proceed. So again here, keeping the speed nice and slow, also stopping nicely behind that car. It's a little bit busy because of school time, but if this wasn't during school time, probably it wouldn't be this busy.
Okay, so they are starting to move. So again, making sure that I, go, I don't go too close to the car in front of me. Okay. So there is two sets of traffic lights coming up. The first set of traffic lights, I'm gonna go straight, but the second set of traffic lights, I'm gonna go right. So the examiner can ask you to go right. Also the light has changed. So I need to check my mirror when, I'm, when I break. So looking ahead, I can see that there is actually two lanes which can go right. So you can either use the, right, the far right lane or you can use the second from the right lane to go right. I'm going to use the second from the right lane. Um, I think that's usually the best lane to be in because, again, maybe your examiner might ask you to go left. So, but even if you go in the far right lane, you can always change lane back to the left lane or if, if you need to go left. It's a little bit busy at the moment. Those cars also blocking the intersection, actually. That guy actually just broke the rules because he went, he turned from the wrong lane. Okay, so I need to make sure there is plenty of space for me to go. Once there is plenty of space, I can proceed. So again, I'm gonna use the second from the right lane to go right, which is the middle lane. So I'm gonna indicate right. Again, here it's always a good idea to check the rear view mirror when you're braking. So this portion of the video, probably we might speed it up a little bit because it's so busy. So waiting for the light to change. When you are waiting here as well, it's always a good idea to be asking yourself what's the speed limit going to be. Obviously, there is two lanes turning here, meaning that when we're turning right, we need to make sure that we stay in our lane. So you don't want to go into someone's lane. Okay, so we are going right. So the light has changed, but I can go through. So again, here remembering it's during school time. So I need to do 40 here. This is a school. Very important. So this is still school zone. So it's, it's important that we don't speed up until we pass another sign. So I haven't seen any sign at the moment, so I need to keep doing 40. Checking my mirror when I brake. Making sure I'm not too close to the car in front. The light has gone to green, so that means we can start moving soon. Again, remembering that we are still in during school time, so I need to keep doing 40. But if you're doing your test during other times, you don't have to do 40. I'm going to go left, so I'm going to check my mirror. I'm going to change to the left lane, which is the turning lane. There is pedestrian crossings here, so I need to be careful. Also, I need to check that right-hand side. It looks safe to go, so I can go. Once I turn, I can remove the indicator. Looking ahead, there is a speed limit of 60, so which means that I can now speed up, so making sure we're not going too slowly because there is no obstructions here, so we can go faster. Checking my mirrors every now and then. So again here, the speed is still 60. So always noticing the signs. OK, 
Okay, so looking ahead, there is another school coming up. So again, I need to make sure I'm not going too fast. Uh, I need to be doing 40 by the time I get to the sign. But again, if you're doing your driving test during other times, you don't necessarily need to worry about this. So 40, so I need to make sure that I'm doing 40 by the time I get to the sign. Also looking ahead, there is a roundabout coming up. So let's say the examiner asks you to go straight through the roundabout. So again, I need to remember the speed is 40 at the moment. So for roundabout, I need to watch the right hand side. Also check inside the roundabout. It's safe to go so I can go indicating left on my way out. And then remove the indicator immediately. There's a sign of 60 here. So I can now go faster, 60. Coming up is a stop sign, so uh, the stop sign, I'm going to be going left. So I'm going to check my mirrors. I'm going to go ahead and indicate left. And I'm, I need to position the vehicle correctly. Also, remembering that I need to stop. There's a car coming there. After that car goes, I can go. There's also a pedestrian crossing straight after this. Very tricky. Once I turn, I also saw that there is a speed limit of 60 there, so I can go faster, so remembering 60. And then let's say the examiner asks you to take the next street on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and indicate left, checking my mirrors, there's a big space on the left. I can do a big quick shoulder check on the left as well and then I turn. Once I turn here, I don't see any speed limit, so I'm just gonna assume that the speed limit is 50. And then here the examiner can probably ask you maybe to pull over on the left, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna indicate, check my mirrors, and I'm gonna stop on the left-hand side. Actually, I might go forward a little bit. So stopping on the left, um, here the examiner might ask you to do some maneuvers. So maybe they can ask you maybe to like reverse the car or they can ask you to turn around the car. So I'm actually gonna reverse and I'm gonna turn around the car as well. So putting the reverse, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna wait for them. Um, once they go, I'm going to check around, make sure it's safe to go, looking around. And then I can look behind me when I'm reversing. So the examiner will tell you when to stop. Maybe about this much. Okay. And then... From here, the examiner can probably ask you like to turn around the car. So if you've done driving lessons, you should be good with doing 3.10s. Um, so I'm gonna put in drive, indicate, look around, and I'm gonna turn the car all the way. Once I turn around, uh, I mean, once I get here, check around. We stop about here. And then once I stop, there is a car coming from the other side. So it's gonna stop and see what they're gonna do. Okay, they are stopped, so I can go. Very important to stop and check what they are going to do before you proceed. Once you proceed, then you just keep driving. So at the end of this street, I'm going to be making a left turn. So the turn left, checking my mirrors, I'm gonna indicate left. I'm gonna slow down the vehicle nice and early. I'm gonna position my vehicle to the left. I'm gonna make sure that I stop completely. Um, there is some cars coming. Probably this was a big enough gap, so I could have probably gone there, but I'm just gonna wait. If you're not sure, if you're not 100% sure, always wait. 
you're probably gonna lose a small point but if you're going it's not safe then that's not good okay so it's safe to turn now so we can go once we turn it's important to check the mirror okay so here i was on this street before so i remember that it's 60 but if you're not sure you can do 50. Okay, so looking ahead, there is some traffic lights coming up, so I need to make sure that I slow down the car. So once I slow down as well, I'm going to check my rear view mirror as well. And then make sure that I'm not too close to the car in front of me. Okay, so the traffic light is green. Also, there is a school zone. Uh, so I'm doing my this drive during school time. So basically, I, I just need to make sure that I'm obeying that four year limit. But obviously, if you're doing your driving test like during the time of between uh, nine and two, you won't need to worry about these school zones. Uh, or if you're doing your driving test on Saturday, they actually do driving tests on Saturday at Logan. So. Yeah, I mean, you've got those options, so some people don't get those options, so people doing their driving tests at other centers, sometimes they don't do driving tests on Saturday. So if you need to do your driving test on Saturday, you can do it at Logan or you can do it at Green Slopes. Um, you can do it at Zoomia. So Zoomia also offers Saturday driving tests. So you, and then there is a number of locations that offer Saturday testing. So you just need to check the Queensland Transport website and see which one offers Saturday testing. So remembering here that the speed limit is 40. So checking my mirrors also when I drive, checking through traffic lights, very important. So this is still 40 at the moment until I get to the next sign. Also, I need to be careful with these pedestrians here. So making sure they don't cross. Okay, so it's 60 now, so we can speed up. So what I'm going to do coming up is a traffic light. I'm going to be going left at the next traffic light, and I'm going to be driving back to the center. So to go left, obviously, I need to select the left lane. So making sure that I get into the left lane. But here, I don't, the space is not enough. So I need to wait here. Probably this car didn't position themselves correctly. Also, there is a keep clear sign here, which is, again, that's a little bit tricky. If you stop off on top of the keep clear sign, you fail the test immediately. Okay, so probably I could start try and squeeze in. So if you think you can squeeze in, it's fine. You can go. I'm going to be going left, so I'm gonna indicate. I'm gonna check around. And there's a slip lane. There's a giveaway sign here, so I need to make sure I check my right hand side. Looks good to go, so I can go. I'm gonna go straight into this this lane here um, and I'm going to be going left at the end of the of the street. So again here there is pedestrian crossing which are next to the stop sign. If you are the second car you need to wait behind the crossing. I'm going to indicate left, check my mirrors but because I'm the first car I can move up to the stop sign I need to stop completely. Once I stop, I can inch forward. There's a big blind spot here. So very tricky there. So that's a little bit tricky, I think. Okay, so here there is a sign of 60. So we can keep doing 60. 
So I'm, I'm gonna increase my speed. Also here, if an examiner probably asks you to go left, you can see that there is a bicycle lane on the left. So it will be important if you're going left to check the mirrors and maybe a shoulder check. I'm not gonna go left, so if you're doing your test here, probably that will be a good experience. You can try and practice like going left here. Um, all right, so here we are heading back to the center. Again, the speed is 60. There is a sign which says a bend, also a pedestrian crossing ahead. So there's a number of the signs which warn you about the pedestrian coming up. This pedestrian crossing, a lot of signs here. So looking through, there's no person wanting to cross, so I can continue. Once I continue, um, again, remembering the speed is 60, roadways ahead, so, um, and then another sign of 60, there is a sign which says 40 at the bend, so you, you want to make sure you slow down a little bit. Um, once we go through the bend, so around 40, once we pass the bend, we can speed up back to 60. Again, a bicycle lane on the left there. Checking through sometime the intersections as well. So again, here the speed is 60, so we can maybe do like 55, 56. So here I'm gonna go back to where I started from. So again, remembering there's a bicycle lane here on the left, so important that we check before we turn. So to turn left, I'm gonna check my mirrors. I'm gonna indicate left. I'm gonna slow down the vehicle. I'm also gonna do a shoulder check to the left because of that bicycle lane. And then, and then I can turn left. So here, if you're doing your test in site one, in site two, you go left. If you're doing your test in site one, you go right. So I'm gonna return back to site one. So I'm gonna give way to that car coming. And then once they go, I can turn. But once you turn here, you can see that it says the speed limit is 10 kilometers per hour. So it's important that you keep it slow. Um, so when you're coming back from, from the test, you're gonna be asked to park your vehicle on the right. Um, so I'm not gonna park on the right at the moment because I don't want to take up the space. Uh, I'm just going to find a parking elsewhere. I'm going to go left here. I'm going to make sure I check, make sure that it's safe to go. Um, looks so busy at the moment. Okay, so park, handbrake, and then I can remove my seat belt. So Logan, I don't think it's very ch challenging, but definitely you need to be practicing a lot around the area. So even though I drove around that, those places where I drove to, it does not mean that that's where your driving examiner is going to take you to. So I was just driving around to show you around so that you know what to expect if you are doing your driving test at Logan. Obviously, the examiner, they have a lot of test routes, so they have a lot of options, but I think the most challenging part will be maybe towards Woodridge. So if you practice around that Woodridge area, there's a lot of pedestrian crossing, and especially that train station, I mean, that railway crossing, so where, the, where you cross, that's probably the most challenging part that you're gonna encounter, because if you're turning left or you're turning right, you need to be watching on the other side of the crossing to make sure there is no vehicle waiting to turn. If there is a vehicle waiting to turn, you have to wait behind the crossing. Because if you wait, if you go forward, if you follow, you're gonna get stuck in the middle of the railway crossing. And obviously that's an immediate fail in the driving test. If you 
enjoyed watching this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos you can also check us out on instagram signal driving school australia if you are doing a driving test soon i wish you the best of luck see you in the next video